All right, hey guys, we're here for one last uh, preview video before we get to the premiere of Survivor Guts and Glory. We're under a week away. I'm posting it on Monday night next week, assuming all goes well. Um, I think after that, I might move to a Tuesday schedule for posting, um, but I'll provide more details for sure as I kind of work out the editing. But I'm really excited to show you guys the premiere. I've been trimming it, making sure it's great, and there's just a lot of content, so it's probably going to be over an hour, um, but I think it's worthwhile. I think you guys will really enjoy it. There's a lot of exciting things happening. There is a camp out happening in sub-freezing weather with ice and freezing rain coming down, people getting to know each other while they put up tents. There's a reveal of the returning players, the reveal of three tribes, and maybe the best challenge that um, maybe we've ever done in Survivor Maryland in terms of planning and execution. So I'm actually going to post at the end of this episode a my explanation that I give the players of that challenge so you guys can see what's going to happen going into it. It's going to be really exciting. So, so that's all I'm going to really say this week. I think everyone should be really excited for next week's premiere. Uh, make sure you subscribe, you like the Facebook page, and when things come around, you share this video. I also am going to post a poll. I'm going to test out a poll at the end of the YouTube video, but also I'm going to post a Google poll link. Um, and I want to see what everyone thinks about the cast going into the season. So if you have a chance, vote in that. And I will um, see and tally those results and probably post them on the Facebook page sometime later this week. So enjoy. And um, here is the Azula tribe. So last week I gave a bit of a primer on Alan. I'm going to do the same for Nicola, the other returning player. And Nicola was someone that I always wanted to see play again. Hi, I'm Nicola Rabisi. I go by Cola. I'm a senior, uh, international business and finance major. And I was on the volleyball team, but I'm retired because it's a fall sport and it's spring now. So this time around, I'm not playing volleyball. I'm only taking three classes and I have all the time in the world. So when Austin said that season four was coming around, I jumped at the chance to join him for redemption. <laughs> yeah! Gonna kick some ass. In season one, everybody kind of came from the same group of friends, people that I knew that I was trying to build this up with. And Nicola came at the last second. She knew absolutely nobody except for one girl. And that really did hurt her in the game. Um, but she managed to really make an impact early on where she turned two of the biggest players of the game against each other. There were a few moments where I kind of gave myself away. I probably pay, played too hard too early. Um, I think that's why they sent me home. Um, but now I know to be a little bit more discreet. Still playing hard, but be more sneaky. So I definitely plan to use that this time around. But ultimately her plan didn't work out in this crazy tie vote situation. Um, and she was kind of uncovered as being very deceptive. So that got her voted out pretty early in the last season, but she really had a lot of potential and played really hard. She's very physically competent. She played on the varsity volleyball team at Maryland, which is a, a D1 elite program. So um, I'm gonna turn it over to her interview, but I'm really excited to see what she can do in this game. I like to think I'm good at challenges. I thought that was probably one of my better strengths in the first season. Um, first challenge was a relay race and volleyball was in it. And I was like, ha ha ha, because it's my time to shine. Hopefully they don't see me as a threat for having played before. That would be upsetting if I went home even earlier than I did the first season. But I think it'll be really interesting this time around. I am absolutely willing to lie and deceive. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to win. I'll probably make friends, but if I have to vote someone out, I will. <laughs> that makes it more fun. Maybe I'll flirt my way to get ahead in the game. Um, only if he's cute. If he's not, I won't bother. I did have a little crush on Doug the first season. I will admit that. But I ended up voting for him, so that goes to show how well that went out. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm not I'm not good at hiding who I have a little crush on. The ultimate answer is I get along with everyone. It's part of my strength finder, if you've ever heard of that. Um, but I like the outgoing people especially. And people who are funny. I dig that. If you're funny, I'll keep you around. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, okay. hey, oh, hey. All right, well, I live with my teammates, so they obviously know me very, very well. Almost too well. They would describe me as weird. I'm kind of, but like a funny weird. I'm outgoing, I'm a little strange. I'm not afraid to make funny faces or kind of like tease people or anything like that. So they say I should have my own reality show. So I'm entertaining, that's what I like to think. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. And I've said this, this is kind of like my life motto and it obviously applies to Survivor because I will do anything to win. 
If Austin said these are the rules of the game, I will purposely try to break them to win. Sorry about it. Hi, I'm Brandon. I am a sophomore and I am a French and secondary education major, minoring and teaching English to students of other languages and creative writing. So one super quick interesting note about Brandon is that I actually uh, had a different person in the cast and Brandon I found out about, he, he reached out to me right before the season started and I actually had someone drop out of the cast because they were stuck at home in the blizzard that was happening this weekend. Uh, when the game started, so Brandon was actually called about 10 minutes before this campout started and informed of what to do. So he just jumped right in it, and uh, that says a lot about him, I think. I'm I'm a really outgoing, like, very kind of high-energy person. I sing and I dance all the time. I did theater for forever, um, and, like, it's just part of the kind of person I am. I'm very, like, let's go, and, like, I get really excited by things. And, yeah, let's yeah. Oh, oh wait, that, that sounds like Lisa. That sounds like Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very um, empathetic person, so like I'm really good at like people skills just in general and connecting to people and really getting to the core of people and helping people. I'm kind of like a psychiatrist in my friend group, if that makes sense. A weakness in my game is if for, what, for whatever reason I find somebody who I actually trust and they're playing a game on me. Because while I'm very in the beginning trying to feel people out and trying to get to know people and see who can I actually trust, I do have the tendency of like when I trust you and like when I like have I feel we have a connection, it's like a ride or die kind of like we're together, we're gonna do this. I expect you to be truthful because I'm about to be truthful. My biggest strength. Um, in this game is probably gonna make is gonna be my ability to make people trust me and my ability to make people trust uh, surprise have me surprise other people. There's a lot more I can do and there's a lot more strength that I have. Wrestling with my brother, arguing with siblings in general, playing the blame game and trying to be like, no mom, it was definitely Elliot who did it. Like that all factors into I guess how I know how to do things today. I work well with people who are uh, just generally willing to get things done, who are mostly outgoing and artistic, and are not afraid to be really weird and really like awkward. Because as much as I will hype myself up, I know that I am just, I am uh, just the tightest bit clumsy and awkward. There, I fall out of chairs for no reason. That's what happens in Bay of Pigs, and then shit like Bay of Pigs happens. <laughs> Bay of Pigs. Let's learn from history. Like, cause I'll be the first one to break out in a random, in a random song and dance number that like doesn't even exist. I'll make it up on the spot based off of a word somebody said. I think people who have like a little bit of quirk to them are just a little bit better because they know how to be out there and they're not afraid to start doing things. So I think the quirk is good. A motto that I live my life by is that no one can make you feel inferior without your permission. For the game, I guess, is going to be big, go big or go home. Like, this is a one in a lifetime opportunity to do this in college, and why not make the best of it? Go big or go home, or you've wasted your time. Hi, camera. Um, I'm this year's contestant. My name is Sherry. I'm so excited to this game. Um, I'm a sophomore, I'm an econ and probably psychology major. So, I really enjoy being at Maryland and look forward to this game. <laughs> I'm an international student. I actually come from China. I spent 60, 16 years in China and I spent one year in Canada and I started my university lab in Maryland. So this is actually my second year in the United States. Yeah. Honestly, at the first, uh, I still feel some language barriers and also I don't know everyone in this campus. So at first I feel a little bit like um, awkward, but then gradually I feel that I really made someone who, um, nice friends, especially my roommates. They helped me, they take me to like American parties and get involved in the life here. So right now I feel comfortable with this. I don't usually watch TV a lot, but Survival is the only TV show I have been watching for 10, more, more than 10 years. Have you guys watched like Survival 28? Like, also like 18 people divided in circles. So we can just go back and watch that season maybe. Just playing. Yeah. yeah. Back in China, I actually, actually, I actually participate in two like fan-based survival games. I also organized one that is targeting our like 
people from different ages. So um, I go to the final three, but I failed uh, like at the last Fabu Council. I am a little bit get ahead of every other contestants because I have a real uh, survival experience. English is not my native language because sometimes I just don't understand those like jokes and that's just hard. I, I, I couldn't do anything to, to do that. But I will try my best because I feel like I'm easygoing and easy approachable person. So I probably use my personality to um, to vote this. Like, yeah, try my best. I think if I find someone who studied Chinese in uh, this game, I, I will be more likely to talk to him or her because if he, um, he or she is interested in Chinese culture, she might be like willing to talk to me, interesting me. So why not? I, I would think that that would be a good plus in uh, Survival Maryland. At first, I would start out um, looking for some girls. Maybe, yeah, girls is easier to approach at, at the beginning and talk to them, maybe um, form alliance. Then I would just like make myself low key and sneakily move on to the second stage and then like wait on any uh, any big moments, maybe make some move that is good for me. So yeah, but I lose my season at the final confessional. So if I have a chance to go to the finals this time, I'll probably work on that. Especially a girl like Nicole Locke, I think she tries, tries a lot of things to save herself, even though she couldn't be able to go to the final. But um, I, I, I mean, I really, feel impressed by her effort I and I remember that she ate, she ate a lot of like bugs just well like so fierce so strong so I just couldn't find that a little girl and cute girl could do that um, my aim right now is to talk to every every one of the contestants before the second day of the just after the first day so I'll be able to at least talk talk to them for a while and yeah know what's going on I'm feel nervous. I hope I can do my best and don't let us in down. <laughs> Thank you for giving me this chance. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a sophomore business major. A lot of people identify me as like the kid who speaks Chinese because I've been learning Chinese since I was five years old just through school. So a lot of people identify me as like the white kid who speaks Chinese. If I met someone who spoke Chinese, I would definitely use that as a bonding experience to connect with them and maybe like if I'm in a group setting, talk with them in Chinese so other people couldn't understand. Try to use it to my advantage. Um, I wanted to play Survivor at Maryland just to gain like a new experience, to have something like kind of fun and exciting that uh, most people don't get to experience in college. I've actually gone back and forth a lot about what kind of strategy I might have uh, playing in Survivor. I definitely um, want to try to align with a lot, or I guess like be friendly with a lot of people because at least through my experience watching Survivor, a lot of people don't like to vote out people that they like. So I think my biggest strategy as of now would probably be to just become friends with as many people as possible and not like burn any bridges right off the bat. Yeah, I guess I've like thought about um, whether I would like not necessarily throw challenges, but I guess if I were to start winning some challenges or becoming like one of the stronger players if I were to like kind of lean back from that and not be too like I guess powerful if that's the right word. I am okay with lying and deceiving. I just wanna I'm just a little skeptical spe skeptical of how much I will want to do it and with whom just because I feel like just watching Survivor in the past it definitely can backfire depending on how you lie and who you lie to so I am okay with lying, and I probably am going to lie and deceive people. I just want to be really careful about how I do it. So I know Renee through my uh, the business attorney that I'm in. Um, I like him. He's a really nice guy. I know he's definitely um, outgoing. Um, I could definitely see him being a good player in the game because he does like to talk to a lot of people and um, is pretty good at forming like relationships quickly. I mean, I definitely want to see um, who else is in the game, but I could see myself working with Renee. But I'm definitely excited to play the game with people who I've never met before, just because I can form, not that I'm going to change who I am in the game, like, drastically, but I might be able to, like, change slight things about myself and, like, my personality a little bit in the game to make it, like, how I want it to be. I guess I could say, yes, I could win, but I think anyone could win. Um, so I definitely don't want to say... I think I will win or whatnot. Um, 
I, I guess, plan on making it um, decently far. Of course, if I don't and I see this later on, I'll probably be really embarrassed. Hi, my name is Priya. I'm a senior at the University of Maryland studying early childhood education and I want to be a teacher. <laughs> I definitely feel like teaching makes you a leader. So I think that'll definitely kind of help me throughout the whole process. And I have to always constantly talk to people all day long, whether it be people my age, people not my age. So talking, I feel like I'm pretty good about that. I think those, those qualities will definitely probably help me out. But, um... <laughs> Yeah. The car alarm. I'm like a lot of things, which is which is kind of funny. Now that'll help me out too. I'm into. I'm not saying I'm into lying and deceiving, but I understand it's a big part of the game. But I don't know, I'm a very truthful person. I don't really like lying to people, so I'm gonna try and be as honest as I can. But you know, if it makes it more interesting, it's gonna have to happen. And if it if it's gonna get me farther and the people that I align with farther, then it is what it is. I get along with people like me, people that determined when they say they're gonna do something they're gonna do it people that can laugh just make light of things and it makes life so much easier don't get along with shy people too much so hopefully austin picked well and didn't pick very shy people because i don't think i could handle it they'd be gone if it was up to me they'd be gone and so the strength of my gameplay will be my alignment with others i can read people pretty well so i think i'll be able to choose people to Play with pretty well. I'm kind of worried about getting out pretty early in the game because people might might think I'm like mean or something or they won't like me or think I'm pretty like bitchy or something. I don't know and then just being backdoored and just out of nowhere. It's me going home really fucking early. That would suck. We call it blindsided. Right? Blindsided. Blindsided. Definitely worried about being blindsided. I think that'd be the worst thing just because Especially if I'm going to be pretty confident within within the game, then being blindsided, I'd be really blown. Shannon's playing this game with me, and I'm so excited. We're we're gonna have so much fun. We're just gonna push each other, and we're gonna motivate each other, and we're just gonna talk about it all the time. Unless Austin puts us on different tribes, and I would be fucking pissed, which I'm sure is gonna happen. But we're gonna talk to each other, like, no matter what. Give it low, pick it up slow. <laughs> Another one time. Shannon and I were gonna be girls, boys, throughout the whole experience, for sure. I'm excited. I think, I think it's gonna be the best sober fun I've had in a long time in Maryland on a Friday, Saturday. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm not. It's not that I'm nervous. I think I could make it far. It's 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 gonna be either one. Like I'm gonna make it pretty pretty far, or I'm gonna be out within the first like two or three. Yeah, so I'm gonna be the first girl to win. I'm Mikey. Uh, I'm a freshman, bio major, and uh, I live on South Campus. Honestly, like, it's like a little nerdy, but like, I'm very into science. Like, I think it's very cool, and I think that uh, there's a lot of deep meaning behind everything that we do. So, like, I, I'm, like, the reason why I'm a bio major is because like I just always found it very interesting. I think a lot when I do science, and I think that like the game of Survivor is a lot of thinking. Obviously, you can't overthink too much. But I think that a lot of things come into play, and a lot of people just like go through life without thinking about things. So I'm like a really well thought out person. Like everything I do is kind of like thought out. I, I like to think that way. So I think that like the deep thinking, I think that'll help me out. I think I'll know what I'm doing when the, the game comes. I'm Jewish. Um, means I wear a keep around. I uh, don't. I don't do any electronics or drive around a car on, on Saturday and Friday night. Um, pray three times a day. Um, I don't eat meat and dairy at the same time. Um, that's pretty much a good summary of Judaism. I live both a secular and religious life. I think that's, uh, that's something that like my teachers taught me about, like my uh, my rabbis brought me up on. As much as I love Survivor and as much as I want to be a part of this, like I'm not gonna skip out if I'm gonna miss out on prayer or whatever. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm here to play, and I I'll bring my religion, I'll bring all my values that I learned in in religion to this game. And I mean, then again, I'm I'm also gonna lie a lot, so. Like, I'm here to play, you know? I really love Survivor. It's like one of the things that like I've, it's one of my passions and something I've been really all about. I've applied, I've made videos, try to get on. It hasn't worked so far. Maybe someday it will. I have, I, I know everything there is about it. Like, I've, I've, I know the strategies. I like to think that when the game starts that I'll have my own strategy, but like, we'll see what other, like, your strategy is only as much as the other people around you. So, we'll see what happens. 
if I had to pick one player it would, that I could, that I'm most like, I think it would be Todd from China because he kind of just flew under the radar for like half the game. As like a small skinny guy, like no one wanted to vote him out because like he was he was like helpful, like he was around, like he made a good alliance right away, and then like he just struck, like at, right after the right after the right after the merge, and that that's what I think my plan is gonna be. I'm as long as I can like stay around a little bit at the beginning and like make my alliance, I think once the merge happens, I'm not gonna be looked at as a big threat because I'll find the radar as just like a small skinny guy. I won't I won't open my mouth too much, and that will uh, hopefully I open my mouth enough. But yeah, something that I'm not as good at as my other stuff is that I'm not so good at like initial interactions and initial like impressions because like when I'm around people I don't really know like I may not fit in so well at the first moment so I'm hoping that like I think that a danger zone for me is definitely the first or two first or the first couple tribals but I think if I can get past the first one I think I'll be fine I'll, I'll have enough time to actually meet people my friends had a word to call me. They called me a goofball. I'm pretty friendly. Like I'm, I can I can be loud when I need to be. Um, I think I'm also pretty laid back when I need to be. So you know, like I think I fit in a lot of different crowds. So I think they'll help me here. I definitely think I can win. I think I, I already think I won this game. Honestly, just put it in the bag. Is everybody ready to get to the first challenge? Yeah! Right. Um, so your first challenge is going to be a pretty grueling challenge. One of the probably the hardest ones we've done. So you're going to basically be going from the bottom of the mall to the top, and you've got obstacles in between that we're going to have to pass, all right? So you're starting off wheelbarrowing in three pairs of two. You're coming through the bolos. Two people are responsible for fetching and tossing the bolos. And you have two other pairs of two responsible for carrying balls on planks up to the top of the fountain. You then move to the rope. You have to get five people of your tribe over your rope. Then you run across with your arms linked together, um, staying linked across three paths across the mall. Once you do that, you climb to the top of the ledge, complete the puzzle. First tribe to complete this challenge will receive immunity, safe from the vote, does not have to vote anybody out in this first week. <laughs> um, in addition, your tribe will get clues to a hidden immunity idol for your tribe, and the clues go in sequence. So the more clues you have, the more likely you are to find it. The second place tribe also wins immunity. Is safe from the vote. No tribal council. That's still a huge power in this game. No idol clue for you. We're gonna get some spots. You guys got a second to strategize and get started. Go ahead. Yeah.